Hey, uh, so Venice, where I am right now, is really known for its eclectic architecture. So right across the street, you got some modern looking stuff, and there's a craftsman over there, and a whole bunch of just regular old ranch houses. And then you come across something like this. What the hell is this? What is that giant belly button doing up at the top of that? Well, my friends, this is the Venice of America house. One of the earliest houses built in Venice after Abbot Kinney started developing this area in the early 1900s. So this is a late Victorian style, so you will notice a lot of that clapboard and the ornaments and uh, the balustrades. And uh, this one has some unique Moorish stuff going on, that Islamic style dome up at the top and all the arches. We don't know who the architects were for uh, this particular house, but we do know that it operated as a rental property for the first decade or so. And then in 1918, it was bought by a family, John and Emma Funnell. Back in its day, it was also right on a canal. As you can see, this is a paved road right now, but in the late 1920s, a bunch of the canals were filled in, uh, the ones north of Venice Boulevard. I think it was partly to relieve the congestion. As you can imagine, there would be a lot of people who want to come through here, walk around the canals, get to the beach, etc., etc. And it was becoming a problem for the locals. So they filled in some of the canals and uh, made them into residential streets. So we have a unique piece of architecture for sure. I also think uh, this is a really cool house just uh, as a window into what Venice was like back then. Um, it's a testament to the vision of Abbot Kinney, who saw these marshlands and thought, why not make it into something desirable? And uh, he did. Venice is still a super popular place uh, to live and to come on the weekends. It's here because of Abbot Kinney. And here is one of the first fruits of his vision over a century ago.